What up everyone? Super Geek Box here. Always a pleasure to have this box. So let's take a look at the month of October and see what we got this month. So first, a t-shirt here, no surprise. And we got a Batman themed shirt. Dun, 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 dun. So as you can see, we got a little Joker here. And then you can see back there, way back, you got a little Batman and Robin. And they're actually a little bat and a little Robin. So it makes a little funny joke here about his funny bone. Uh, I thought the design, like, uh, the design they picked was, you know, it was okay. Like, I get the joke they're making. I see that. Yeah, it's kind of funny. So, um, uh, and I thought, you know, like I said, it was, it's okay. But the cool thing about it is, even though the joke isn't, like, mega funny or anything like that, at least they designed it well. Um, the quality of this t-shirt is very nice. I noticed they're using a new brand of t-shirt called Green Tea. Now, I don't know if this is, um... Sometimes they send out more than one type of shirt, like some are printed on Gildan, some are printed on Toltex. I don't know if that's the case, but this green t-shirt is actually very nice. It seems very soft. It seems pretty fitted. It seems like a good size and everything like that. So the quality seems very nice. And the way they printed it on is very nice too. Also, the design quality is nice. So we've seen shirts from like 1UP Box and things like that that have been crossovers that have been awkward. But on top of that, the design's always weird. It looks like someone drew it with a marker. It just doesn't look good. This design it actually looks nice. If you look up close, there's actually like line variation to it. The coloring's nice, like things are proportionate. So whoever did design this actually did a good job. So whether you like the joke or not that they're making, it's still a nice quality shirt. So it's still wearable because it looks nice from a distance. So I think this is a, a very good shirt. They did a good job on it. So um, overall, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Um, like I said, like, you know, it's kind of funny, but it's also, like, kind of weird. It's kind of a weird joke they're making, so maybe not for everyone. Depends on if you like the whole comedy styling shirt thing. But I think overall it was a very nice design and very wearable. So, that's our shirt. Then, next item was quite an interesting one. So we got a foam finger, but this is actually a little chainsaw. So just like a normal foam figure, you stick your little hand in there, but... This is really interesting. I thought this was a pretty cool item. I'll give you a close-up of it. <laughs> so, um, this is something we've never seen before, but I thought this was a very, very interesting take. It was very clever. Um, it came all bunched up and curled up in a ball in there, so it was very misshapen, but I actually left it out for about an hour, and eventually the foam like reshaped and now it's in like perfect condition so I was worried about the quality of it getting like permanently bent a certain way but it didn't seem to be the case of this this is very cool um, again the only downside which is often with this box is they put their logo like super huge like smack dab on there and you know as per usual it's not like it's not horrible like it doesn't ruin it or anything but at the same time it's just like really like did you have to put that on both sides like was that super necessary to do that this company it just is very logo heavy. They they seem to do that quite often. Um, I don't think they did it as bad on the shirt. I don't even see the logo on the shirt. Where is it? I guess they didn't on the shirt. That's interesting. Didn't even notice that. That's kind of funny. So, um, yeah, I guess they made up for not putting it on the shirt by putting it on the foam finger. I guess if I had to choose, I'd rather it be on this than the shirt. But still, it's just not necessary. They don't have to plaster it all over the place. Like I said before, and like everyone said, if someone were to ask me where I got this, I'm not going to like lie to them. I'll tell them where I got it. I'm happy to, if I'm happy with their product, I'm happy to advertise for them. But I just never like it when it's forced. So, and I think most people would agree. But again, not that big of a deal, but they just got to take it easy with that a little bit. But I still thought this was very clever and very fun. So, um, obviously, by the time I'm posting this video, it's after Halloween. But this came long before Halloween. We had a good week um, where I got this box before Halloween actually happened. So it came in time. If you wanted to use it for a costume or just for fun, I think that's perfectly in time. Any other time this would have shown up, it would have been like kind of useless. But even still, I think this would look pretty good just on someone's wall. It's just kind of funny, like a chainsaw made of foam. Like I thought that was very clever. Like it's not super amazing by any means, but it's just cool to see like people be clever with certain items and just have an interesting take on things. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I was, I was pretty happy to see it. Put a smile on my face. And at the end of the day, that's what's most important. Being happy about what you get. All right. So next, we got one of the Mopies figures. So I was just saying with, um, I think it was Comic-Con Box, how we had never seen any of these before. 
in a box. And now this month we got two. Not only two, but we got two from um, the, the same month, also from Nightmare Before Christmas. So I was lucky enough not to get duplicates, which is awesome because I have the worst luck with boxes. I always get duplicates, which is a bummer, but you know, whatever. So I was very happy I didn't get duplicates. And I really like this series. I think the Mopies are really cool. And they did a good job on the Nightmare Before Christmas. The Zero one we got, or I got, in Comic-Con box was looked totally adorable. And so does this. And they did nice quality. Um, if I can get the camera to focus up close, like, they didn't really cheap out. Like, it actually feels like it's stitched. Like, it actually feels like that kind of potato sack feeling. So it actually has some good texture to it. And the overall design and quality of it is cool. Like, they, they did a good job on it. So... I'm a big fan of this figure in particular and this series, and I'm I'm still surprised we haven't seen these show up more in boxes. Um, I'm never a huge promoter of generic Funko stuff, but as filler here and there, I don't see why not. I think they're pretty cool. So uh, this isn't rare at all. It's pretty easy to find this, but it's still cool to have in there. I, I like this, and I'm going to keep that, and that'll go nicely with my zero. But of course, I hope that no one, if anyone got those two boxes, I hope no one got duplicates. So that would be unfortunate. Anyway, moving on. Next, we got some Pop Rocks, which is so funny. Not because they're Pop Rocks, but because 1UP Box also put Pop Rocks in. And it's just always so funny how closely related those two boxes are. They've made it very known that they're not the same company, and they're not affiliated or associated anymore. They were at one point, but they're not anymore, and they make a point of saying that because they don't want to be. But at the same time, they're just so similar on things they put in. It's like, really? Like, did you both have to put Pop Rocks in? Like, is there like a spy at one location that's like reporting information to the next? Like, what are the odds that they're both doing this? And if it's not an accident, like, why are they intentionally doing it? There's nothing wrong with it. I like Pop Rocks. I think most people do. It's just weird that how they're just so similar all the time. It's just kind of funny, and I wish I had an explanation to it. But anyway, got some more Pop Rocks. At least it's not a condom wrapper like 1UP Box. But yeah, Pop Rocks. There you go. Next, this was kind of an interesting item. We got a bandana, which normally I'm not too thrilled about. But this one was actually really cool looking. So again, this is more for like the Halloween theme. If you wanted like a last minute costume or something like that, this would work out perfectly. So. This bandana is actually of, like, it looks like Venom's mouth. Now, obviously, they don't say that because I doubt they wanted to pay licensing for it, but it is very clearly Venom's mouth. So that's really cool. So this is just like a standard bandana that you wear over your mouth. And it would make a pretty cool, like, last-minute costume. Because uh, I, me, and I like a lot of other people, I wouldn't like wearing, like, full-on masks for Halloween. But I'd wear this. This is pretty cool. So, yeah, I thought that, oh, it smells weird, though. Ugh, it's got a weird smell to it. But anyway, other than the weird smell, it's actually really cool. I think they picked a good design, and it's very fitting for putting over your face. Again, if this wasn't a Halloween box, this would be a totally useless item and wouldn't really fit in at all because there's really not too much practical use for these unless you have a job that calls for it, like carpentry or something like that, where you have crap flying around in the air. But I think that's pretty cool, and it's just kind of filler. It's not super high quality or anything. It's on thin material, but it's just kind of cool to look at. So I liked it. Then we got one more item. This is just an air freshener. I'll give you a close-up on it. The cool thing is about it is it actually has two different designs on it. So it's a Boo from Mario, and it actually has, like, here's the Boo face, and then here's one covering his face. Like, if you anyone who's played the Mario game knows, like, he has those like two faces that he does. So I thought that was kind of clever that they actually put two different designs on it. You know, it, not a big deal, but it just makes it a little more interesting. So that's cool. And I'm, I'm always happy to get air fresheners because, you know, I smell. I'm not ashamed to admit it. Most people smell. So it's just fun to have. It's cool to have them hang in your rear view, and it just makes things smell a little bit better. Why not? And at the end of the day, it's just filler, so it doesn't really matter too much anyway, but... It's just cool to see little bits of effort here and there. Anyway, so let's go back to this box and talk about some value. First, our t-shirt. So like I was saying, 7 out of 10. I think most people will like this. Um, and I think the quality on it was pretty nice. And yeah, I, I think this is a good shirt. This will get the standard $12 to $15 value. Next, 
our Mopey figure. So there's really nothing rare about this. Um, given that Halloween and Nightmare Before Christmas is very popular, um, online they might go for like a dollar or two more than they go in the store, but really not much. So around 10 bucks for these, depending on where you get it. Like around that, give or take a buck or two. But I think they're a cool little plush figures. And they, they sit on their own, so you don't have to lean them against anything, which I think is cool. And yeah, I think they did a genuinely good job on them. So I was pretty happy to get that. Good stuff. Then, our chainsaw. So this is kind of hard to give a value to. Um, honestly, I'm going to put a value of like around $8 on this. Like, at like a ball game, if you bought a foam finger, it'd be super expensive. But, I, I, you know, I'm not sure how much it is to get these made. They're obviously not super high in quality or anything like that. Um, I, I imagine they'd be fairly cheap to get made, but I also don't think there's a lot of companies that specifically make things like this. But either way, I think it's clever, so I'm going to give it like around 8 bucks, probably a little bit less than that. Obviously, if you were to go online, you'd probably find someone selling it for like a couple dollars, but around $8, but that's not exact at all. I wasn't sure exactly what kind of value to give this, so I'm just going to give it around 8 bucks. Then, we got our bandana. So same with this. Um, if it were like a nice quality bandana, it would go for much more. But this is very like thin, cheap material. So, and but it is still cool. So I'm gonna give this like five or six bucks. Like if this were sold in store, just like a cheap Halloween store, I could see it going for at least that. But it was a cool bandana anyway. Then our little air freshener, two or three. That's usually what I value air fresheners at. They're they're very common. They're very cheap. Um, if they were in a store, they might be in the dollar section. They're not difficult at all to make, but the uh, two or three bucks, somewhere around there. And then our Pop Rocks, I'm going to give it a dollar value, but it's not even worth that. If this were in a candy store, it'd be like 50 cents, but just to make it an even dollar amount, I'll give it a dollar, but, you know, whatever, it's Pop Rocks. So, that being said, our value on the low end is going to be 38. On the high end, 43. So you got right around double your value, so... Overall, I think this was a pretty good box. Now, um, I liked all the items in here, and they were all in theme for, like, Halloween and things, stuff like that. So, it was all good stuff, but um, the, the, a lot of things in here aren't going to be, like, practical past Halloween. Like, the Chainsaw Foam Finger, like, you could put that up on your wall and it looks cool, but not, not a lot of use or collectability after that. Same with the bandana. Like, you could use it as just a normal bandana, but... Probably not going to be used a lot. Most people probably wouldn't need something like that. And you know, the t-shirt was good, decent quality. I like the Mopies, but it wasn't rare at all. But but you did get good value. So I'm going to give this box a 7 out of 10. You got a good mix of stuff, but um, I don't think like this is for everyone. And like I said, past Halloween, a lot of these things aren't practical or useful. But it was good good stuff. Like I think everyone would have joined, and I think you definitely got your money's worth. But let me know what you guys thought about it. If, you, um, if anyone used any of these items, if maybe you added them to your Halloween costume or something like that, or if you have any practical use for the chainsaw and the bandana after Halloween, let me know. I'd be interested to see what you guys use it for. But anyway, this has been Super Geek Box. The shirt is 7 out of 10. Box also a 7 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think. See you on the next video. Love you all. Peace.